What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Hitman 3. I must say I don't know how the hell I didn't buy this uh, first day. Uh, it kind of just slipped over my mind. I was, you know, busy with other games and whatever, but I am super, super glad that we are here. So I hope you guys do, of course, enjoy uh, another episode. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I think like the way that the game plays in itself, my only complaint really is that it's short. There's only six missions in the game. Anyway, end of the line. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Well, I can't it wait to here. see and it ends here. like 47's history it's if we do discover it. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Mission active. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, look how far we are from the estate. So anyway, Death in the Family, Dartmoor, England, Mission 2. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlisle. Please wait. Really? Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlisle. You can go right in. So no problems for this guy to just step on in okay so what we're gonna do i think is dress up as this guy that is phineas whitmer the famous private investigator hired by madame carla this morning i'm curious why he's here Maybe gonna need our you coin should do some detecting yourself 47. a famous private investigator summoned by alexa carlisle has arrived at thornbridge manor if you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Absolutely what I was thinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want that. Excuse me, sir. 
seem to have dropped a coin. What was that noise? Wanna now draw him in right into the bush. Oh, man. And we're gonna take him out. Non target, disguise as the investigator. Beautiful. Worked out remarkably well. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. So we have to obviously kill her and no, uh, get the case file. Anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and, and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and, and and I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. If you want to pass through, I gotta pat you down. Uh, where do I hide? You washed it the first time, actually. Yeah, well, what you gonna do? Can't really tell him that. Hold on, I can probably drop my weapons in the bush. Drop item. The fiber wire doesn't seem like it's trouble. Maybe we can carry it in, but I'll drop the pistol in the bush. We're going to get nice and close to her anyway, so... We won't need a gun. Hello there, sir. I gotta search you, sir, if you wanna come through. The <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sorry, I pressed X on the Xbox controller. And, uh... PS5, yeah. <laughs> so I ended up striking him. Sir, if you wanna come through, I'm gonna have to pat you down. Touch me all over. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. This uh this mission seems to be going right. quite smooth. Good job, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Here she is. Mr. Whitman, Brilliant, thank sir. you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand yeah, that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started, as you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. So she's heading back up, and we are going to investigate. So hopefully after all this, we can then talk to her and possibly strangle her to death. I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You no, not at all. Learned that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Scheduled? Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. Wow. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. <laughs> That's the plan, Before ain't it? inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madam Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madam Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you. 
So please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. Hmm. A photo. So the bedroom is Zachary Carlos, Cario Brothers, fellow resident. Uh, the room is located in the middle floor of the mansion. Copy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I'm sure there's more to find in Zachary's room. Zachary's suicide note. Suicide note found in Zachary Carlo's bedroom. It reads, I am haunted by horrible past choices and all their consuming consequences. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. Goodbye. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Would we be able to get in? I doubt it. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Take a picture. I don't know if that will really do anything for us. Where is the broad? There she is. Let's go and uh, talk back with Mr. Wellington. How do I even get down there? This way. Like him or Sherlock Holmes? Uh, what? Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. This is very useful information, 47. The oldest child of Alexa, Gregory is suspect in the murder, the middle child. The youngest child of Alexa, Rebecca is suspect. The wife of Gregory and daughter-in-law. Okay. Son of Emma and Gregory. And the butler. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? know who I am, who my grandmother is, was, right? Just relax. It'll be fine. You'll get your returns. Don't worry. Give Anthony a call, okay? I talk to you now, sir. Carlisle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? He's probably out. Don't tell mother, okay? 
She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. He was with a staff member called Rosie at the time. What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree for the married mum. I don't have to worry about the interbreeding that comes from the inner circle. Yeah, I don't care what you have to say. Patrick talking to Manu Carlisle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course. According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlisle and Mr. Fernsbury, the butler, have each been given a token for the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. When combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the set. This deposit box may well contain a copy of the case file of Arthur Edwards. Hmm. So we're going to need those tokens, obviously. Rebecca Carlin, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We didn't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. Do you know, I bet she was making a list for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? No. Emma Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around 8 o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. So it was awkward. She claims to have gone to bed with an awful migraine when Edward and Gregory had a drink around 8 p.m. last night. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. This guy. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and a wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> uh, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? 
So, she said that Gregory saw her go up at 8. So that was a lie, because he left at a quarter to 8. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Is that all? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Gregory just... Yeah, let's just keep talking to... Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Hmm. I'm thinking butler or wife. Is there anything else you want to ask me? I'm good. Um, a okay. Either way, this house is massive as hell, and he's currently busy. That's a little too close. <laughs> I bumped into Professor him. Edward Carlyle. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Half past eight. One says a quarter before eight. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by a mother's supposed death. We all were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. If that's all, I... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. I, I can't breathe. Excuse me. Right, so their alibis are confirmed. They did go out, in fact, and have a drink. But these four still remain. The door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Not this one here? We don't need a key, we will just... Go this way. Let's go. Scale up. Do anything with this power. Hmm, how are we gonna get into this? Oh, okay. a full-on investigation wow we're in that's all that matters so let's see if we can fix some alibis here what is this pick up greenhouse 
key. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Letter from Emma's mother. Now this is interesting, Fort. A letter from Emma's mother found in the room in which Emma and Gregory Carlyle are staying. The letter details that Emma's father was the late Montgomery Carlyle, Alexa and Zachary's older brother, and the two younger siblings murdered him. Apparently the two murderers were unaware that Emma's mother was expecting his child. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, keep everything intact here. Where's the greenhouse now? So what I actually want to do is go outside and see if we can find like the greenhouse, something... Do have the key to it. This is the graveyard, though. It's okay, we gotta start somewhere. Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The Undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madame Carlyle. He's in a right state. So, unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. <laughs> Get rid of the birds nesting. Man, how are we going to do that? I don't know if I want to even bury her here. I think it would be nice to kind of go to the greenhouse and continue the investigation side story there is the continuation over here i found the greenhouse stock okay that away right because then we can get close with her and uh i don't know i just feel like we've already put in the work At the other day it's like oh who really gives a shit and who killed who but Let's go to the greenhouse. Let's check it out. If it's a dead end, we can just do something about it after. Bad news, I'm afraid. We don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Got to be kidding. No power, no work. Oh, Madam Carlyle will be furious. So, Madam Carlyle. If she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. Disguise yourself as the photographer, huh? Well, anyway, we're the detectives, so I think that's the best feature anyway. So we picked up the keys. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the sprint. Seedlings yesterday. Yeah. So we're actually going back and I guess doing this one. I doubt that's true though. Now, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired last week. He had to carry some heavy bolt to the top floor. He complained about back pain for the entire weekend. A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. I need those birds gone, do you hear me? I don't think they want to leave. They're always gathering in that tree, sir. I don't care what they want. Christ! I've enough of my life to scare them, shoot them, I don't care, I just want them gone. Damn birds. I could just get clear hits on those nests. <laughs> Oh god. What we're gonna do, I think, is bring this guy here. Dump him in there. So what I also want to do is save. Because I plan on just shooting the nests. Sound of that. 
bring him in here. I will finish this guy off. Oops. I don't want to disguise as a gardener because we're the detective. So with the detective, you can kind of just go anywhere. So in case everything goes to hell, I save it again. I like the manual save option. That really does help. Um, oh, I did drop my pistol, though. I wonder if the security guard has a gun. He does have a gun. Sorry, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull out this gun. I'm going to try it out. If it doesn't work, we'll just reset it, but. Disguise yourself as the Undertaker. Now what I want to do is actually calling in an army for staging a pig funeral. Hmm. That sounded weird. Can you go see? Okay. Well, I just went Chuck Norris. Oh no. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Anyone? Hey. You too. You too. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Sick of it. We're okay though. It uh, got a little rough there for a moment. We're gonna put everybody in the bushes. Everybody in the bushes. Like I said, sometimes you, you know your hands are gonna get dirty. There's uh, nothing you can do here. Uh, I really wanted to do that whole spiel, but um, I definitely want to do this storyline now. So, nope. Oh. Once we finish up with all of her death. Well, there's a lot of bodies to deal with her. Uh, once we deal with her death, then we'll go back to the detective suit. If I even remember where I've placed it. All of you, done and dinner. I think I'm literally going to put them all in this bush. I don't think they would get caught. I don't see why they would. Snap a neck right there. We don't want any of these people waking up mid-funeral. Okay, I don't see the next objective. Did we need to keep some of those people alive. Perfect. Alright, so that's how we're supposed to do it. And now we will inform the staff to let her know. I am ready to show Madame Carl. A lot of failing and, and you know learning. You got rid of the birds. Yes. Perfect. I'll let her know. Perfect. Gardener is coming back though. I think we're gonna have to kill him and put him in that box over there. There isn't anybody else, though. This guy does keep returning, so we're gonna have to... ...get rid of him.
Inside you go. Well done, 47. Madam Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. We're going to save here as well. She going to follow me or What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say I don't care much for the choice of flowers either. I need a moment to consider what I want. Is this guy going to follow us in? What's that podium? Sorry, I just kind of walked into her there. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Oopsie. I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe cringy affair. Don't do that. Got your damn mouth, bitch. <laughs> Perfect. So now what we're going to do Snap her neck. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. I actually want to bring this guy also. Cover this shit up. That's one hell of a story. Okay. We can now drop the shovel. We don't need it. Um, I need to find my detective uniform. Yeah, we're back as the PI, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of weird cutting in these episodes. Sorry, guys. It's just, it's kind of tricky to... Um, work with a game such as this so she her room is all the way up top correct i don't this area has been declared a restricted area but mike one tango is standing down thank you sir stay clear now i'm looking at her mission story right data remember um she's eliminated uh her final resting place completed but then when you look at means, motive, and opportunity, key character is unavailable because we killed her. So I need to get upstairs to her room. Uh, but there's a guard, so I actually think I might have to go all out here. So I might actually have to get a guard uniform. What I'm going to do, see if this works. And if I have to, I'll just, I don't know, Google uh, the code for the safe or whatever. There's got to be another method. I don't know. Kind of lost for words, to be honest. Let's see if this allows us to get upstairs. No need to panic. Beautiful. Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your I disconnected online. So that a why else could she have the restraining order oh, like him. So whoever gets this message now that eyes. Alexa is dead, Double -talking. get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. The case falls down there. What? That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Hmm. Really old. And it 
looks like you were on again. Gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. <laughs> Can I use the crowbar to open this? Like, What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it here. This is taking long. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I've been sitting on this mission for over an hour. Wow. Don't think... Yeah, nobody heard that. Okay. Better from moi. Mr. Furbead's office. One of three clues found. Okay. Lethal poison. Lethal, if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Zachary's diary. This is big. Suicidal note found in Zachary Carlyle's bedroom reads, I am haunted. Uh, without her, I cannot go on. Cursely, the handwriting does not match Zachary's diary. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother, Montgomery, 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47... The handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? I actually just pissed off that this just didn't work the way I was hoping for. We now are in her office. What I would like to do is actually just find the safe. Don't really see... Private room. I'm gonna close this door. Secret room. So we just keep going further and further. Love it. Alright, there's nothing in here. What? That's gonna be our escape, if anything. No! We've locked ourselves out of the... What's this? Activate button. Okay, so is there? Yeah, there's a place we can dump them right there. So what I want to do is I want to pick up this apple, come out of reach here, throw it there, huh? get our fiber wire ready. No one ever taught you any manners. Shut your mouth. Mind your own beeswax. This has to be it. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. I actually ended up taking, like, hella long here. So I ended up just... And then, like, the recording was being weird. Forget it. Anyway, uh... 1975. It's just connected to those things. There's numbers right under it. There's our case file. Mission complete. Well done, 47. What just happened? We just lost. The detective suit probably would have been the, the cooler. Uh, mission, but what I like about these games too is anything can happen. 
So that's what kind of makes it exciting. And yeah, so with that, we uh, we pretty much finish the mission here, guys. And uh, I can already tell it's going to be one an episode. Uh, so thank you guys very much for, for watching. I appreciate it. As uh, we pretty much ended up with the final cutscene. I'm just going to get out of here. And yeah. Oh, I actually just felt out of my controller. So anyway, let's see what plays out here. You owe him nothing. Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. <laughs> Tell the Constant to start running! Yo, 47 is just about to shoot that guy. You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. 47's contract to kill Diana's parents? Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. 